But hello, good people. Welcome to Brown Bag Tarot. I'm about to tear open a bag on this 777 day for the cancer. And this should be especially important for you because we are in cancer season. 777 means July, 7th month, 7th, 7th day, 2023, which breaks down into a 7 in cancer season. Okay? So I feel like a portal has been open of abundance, success, completion, good things. Take advantage because I know I am. All right. But listen, this bag here is for the cancer. Let's, so let's see what spirit has got for you. Okay. Cards flipping already. I was shuffling off camera, but this is what spirit has for you. Patience and planning. A lot of people have been getting this energy. Patience and planning, but we also have uh, financial and material changes. So we got some changes coming for you, Cancer. All right, some things that you've been patiently waiting on. All right. Whether you like it or not, Cancer, some things are changing for you. Okay. I feel like not only are they changing, but they're going to be changing quickly. All right. I want to clarify some of this energy here because I don't like it. I don't understand it, but I feel like some good things are happening for you. I feel like people are around, either they're around watching you or you're watching other people and you're being a hater or people are hating on you. But I'm going to clarify this. Who's, who's, who's the hater? Deception and envy. Who's the hater up in here? Deception and envy. Seven of swords. Who's, 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 ooh, right there. Who's the hater? Magician, the empress, and the moon. I feel like they're hating on you. Cancer. Okay, because your energy is here and the moon is about doing things that is not fully illuminated. Okay, I feel like people are looking at you. They're looking at you as, as if you're the empress. They're looking at you as if you have uh, the, the Midas touch, the magician. I feel like people are looking at you as if things are magically happening for you. Okay, that things are magically happening for you and you're being silent about it. You're being blessed. You're being elevated, but you're not really talking about it. You're not talking about it. You're being humble about it. You're being quiet about it, but people can still see it anyway. Okay. I feel like people can see the magic that is happening in your life. I feel like, um, people want you to talk about it. I feel like people want you to, to, um, I feel like people want to rush in and have you talk about it, but you're being real low key about the things that are happening for you. Because in the midst of all of this, we got the Empress. Now to me, the Empress is the best energy in the house. Okay. I feel like you're not being braggadocious. I feel like you're not being, um, uh, in your face about it. I feel like you're not saying, Hey, look at me. I got it going on over here. Even though you do. Okay. I feel like you're being real humble about it. I feel that you are, you know, just being real low key in your energy, but people can see that you being blessed and you got it going on. And the fact that you ain't bragging about it and shit has got people all fucked up about it. I feel like people want to rush in and have you brag about it so they can be like, look at this bitch. She rubbing it in my face and all blah, blah, blah and all that. But you not. You being real low key about your blessings and the things that are going on for you and people can't see it. <laughs> Ain't that messed up. People fucked up because you being blessed and you humble. People fucked up about that. You know what I'm saying? But I also feel like cancer that the things that you've been waiting on have not come easy. I feel like you have been patiently planning for this. I heard crying in the dark. I feel like you've been crying in the dark about the changes that are finally occurring in your life. Okay. I feel like that you have had to go and be by yourself. For a period. I feel like you have had to go to spirit many times 
You know what I'm saying? And say, God, do you see me? Do you hear me? I'm waiting for you. I'm hoping for you. I'm doing the right thing. I'm just waiting. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Quietly. I feel like you just been mulling along, doing what you're supposed to do. Quietly. Patiently. Just doing the next right thing. And you know what? It's finally coming to pass. I also feel like you've been tempted to do some things that you may have wanted to do. You know, maybe some things that may have motivated you in the past. You've been tempted by those things, but you resisted temptation. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And because the devil fleed from you, now you are getting blessed because you fleed the devil. Give me some energy on this. Spirit, please and thank you. One, two, three, seven of cups, ten of cups. Exactly. You have been presented some options with some things that would have been options before. You know what I'm saying? These seven of cups are options, but seven of cups is also illusions. You have been tempted with some options that were illusions. And because you resisted the optional illusions, now you're being blessed with the Ten of Cups. I feel like because you slept, you didn't get up. You wasn't motivated. You was not tempted on the optional illusions that was once motivating to you. See, because these temptations were motivating. Sacral chakra, chakras is about passion. What motivates you, okay? What you're passionate about, okay? So I feel like the things that you were once tempted and passionate about that wasn't the best for you, okay? You slept on that. Like, yeah, mm, I think I'm a pass. And because you passed on that, now you got the Ten of Cups. Got the Ten of Cups, okay? Now you got the fulfillment of wishes. Okay, now you have complete emotional fulfillment. All right. And I feel like that's why things are happening for you now. All of us, Knight of Swords, hell yeah, it's coming to you quickly. What's changing for you? What's changing for you? So I feel like because you slept on the optional illusions that was once a temptation for you, that once motivated you, that once was passionate to you because you were patient because you planned things out because you cried in the dark because you wasn't tempted by the things of the old now you're getting wish fulfillment in complete emotional fulfillment now you're being blessed in the empress energy now you got the magician the Midas touch that's why you being quiet with the moon energy non braggadocious about things people want you to talk about it but you ain't you ain't you moving in complete silence here oh with the eight of cups I said what is this five what what are the changes the changes are you moved away from the things that were no longer emotionally fulfilling to you okay Two of Swords. Two of Swords. I like this Two of Swords. See, because this is my playing dumb. But she she turned her back on the things um, that, that, that she was playing dumb about. She turned her back on those things. And see, Swords are up. It's like, you know what? I'm not playing dumb. I'm going to turn my back. I know these things ain't what's best for me. I'm turning my back on playing dumb. Okay, and I'm gonna tell myself that when they come, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm I'm gonna turn a blind eye to them. I'm gonna act like I don't even see them. But I, I I'm not gonna I'm gonna turn my back on playing dumb because that didn't benefit me. I'm changing that. I'm walking away from that. Okay, and not only am I walking away from it, I'm standing my ground on that with the seven of swords. I mean, seven of wands here. That's about putting up boundaries. I'm putting up boundaries on the things that I know I was playing dumb to before. I ain't playing dumb to that stupid shit no more. Yeah, I might have been passionate about it before, but fuck that. I ain't playing dumb no more. 
Yeah, I was tempted before. Yeah, it might have motivated me before. But fuck that. Yeah. And even if it come up as an option right now. Yeah, no. I'm sleeping on that. And now you, because you did that. Now you're getting the ultimate in emotional fulfillment. And that's what cancers are. Walking emotions. Cancers love love. Okay. Ten of wands. Absolutely. I'm done with the stupid shit. I'm turning my back on the stupid shit. I got my guard up on the stupid shit. I'm walking away from the stupid shit. I'm changing the stupid, stupid shit. Okay. And it took me a while to get here. I've been patient. I've been planning. And because you have turned your back on all the bullshit, now you're being rewarded. And so I feel like your rewards are coming in and they are coming in quickly. And if you haven't seen them manifest, just watch out because we have accelerated movement. All right. We got the waiting game. And here you are right here. Triumph, baby. You about to get a firm foundation. Okay. New beginnings. Okay. Listen, it's all coming in right now. So if it ain't came in yet on this 777 day, you can look forward to that coming in for you moving forward. So long as you keep turning your back on the stupid shit that used to motivate you, the things that you used to play dumb to and play into, okay? All the things that you used to tempt you tempt you that you know wasn't for your highest good, as long as you continue to turn your back on that, you are about to move into some good shit. Okay, you're about to move into some things that are finally do you the things that you have been planning for for a long time, the things that you have been changing your ways for. Okay, you're you're going to come into that energy. You're about to be the magician. You're about to have the Midas touch. And I feel like spirit is urging you to be quiet about it. Be humble about it. Okay. Because people are going to want you to be braggadocious about it. But fuck people. Don't even tell them what's going on. Be quiet. Be humble. Because this is your season of reaping the rewards of turning your back on the stupid shit. It's time for your blessings. So that's what I got for you right now, Cancer. All right? If this resonates with you, hit that like button. Tell a friend. All right? Tell them to check out this message. All right? But until the next time we get together, I encourage you, Cancer, to pack light and y'all be cool.